<laughs> I'm here with Kendrew after winning season 10 finals in Tokonami, Japan. Obviously, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel incredible. Uh, I don't think there's any better feeling than winning, especially something that you work so hard for. Feels feels really good. Uh, how would you say your like preparation helped you win this tournament? Uh, I'd say the preparation for wildcard and the preparation for reciprocity was yeah. a big factor. Uh, I'd say our composure was also a big factor. Uh, just just the prep work beforehand won us rounds, but our composure was on point. Like I said, I guess uh, there was also no prep for for Dagger at all. So uh, I don't know. We, we just kept composure. We played well. The the prep was half of it. Our gameplay was the other half. Obviously, you guys played wild card in the first round, and that was a pretty tough game. Uh, it could have gone either way at some point, yes. and you guys pulled through. Did you expect it to be that difficult, and what do you think caused you guys to struggle there? I mean, uh, going in expecting someone to not be a hard game is a terrible mentality. Uh, so we didn't underestimate them at all. We knew that they were, they were at Japan for a reason. Um, however, like looking back at it, we did not expect them to be as good as they were. They really caught us off guard. They changed a lot of their their strats up, like doing completely different stuff to what we what we thought it was doing. Uh, we, I don't know. They they just played really well. That's all. Obviously, you guys are a majority British team. Mm -hmm. Something that across almost any esports is rare. Yes. And you guys have won a pro league finals mm -hmm. now, which I don't. No other British player has ever mm -hmm. done. How would you say that has like helped you guys? Did you expect to be so good here? Well, being British. Well, being, <laughs> was being Brit being British. You must be proud of being British. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, being like the first. Well, apart from Team Secret, there's no other British majority British teams that have been so successful in uh, Siege. Um, it feels good. It feels good to represent uh, Britain in, in a good way and, and bring it home for the. It's coming home. That's sort of thing. <laughs> Obviously, Pi came in and performed pretty well in the final. Uh, finals MVP. Did you expect him to pop off so much in the final? He had been slightly underperforming before that in the tournament. I don't think he was underperforming ever, to be honest. He was doing his job. He was helping. He was calling. As long as people are talking, then it's fine. Uh, he popped off in the final. That's all that matters. Uh, I think that's the, the game that'll that'll leave the mark. Um, no, he, I, I wouldn't say he underperformed at all. I'd say he performed all all the time. So Dog Zero in the final, a best NA team, and you guys beat them not with ease, but much more comfortably than your yes. previous games. Why did that? Why do you think that happened? It's it's funny because we had the least prep for Dark Zero. Um, we didn't the the way that our prep worked was that we focused on wild card, then obviously the visa situation with NIP. We focused on the reciprocity. We got through them teams, and then we had 30 minutes before the finals to play uh, to to prep. We just did some basic stuff like focus on our gameplay. We decided that. Just focus on us, focus on our team play, uh, not worry too much about them, just enjoy playing and we'll see what happens and it worked out in the end. So. Last thing, message to your fans both back home in the UK and here in Japan. Uh, UK community is always behind us, they're always sending us love and support on Twitter, it means the world to us. Uh, we'll see you at Prem, uh, hopefully bring the 3 P. Uh, that's it, just thank you so much, thank you. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.